My crooked spine protests at the morning spent in crowds, one shoulder slung with back issues and swag. It's no mean feat navigating New York Comic Con, the meat grinder, one writer calls it. Excuse me, Swamp Thing. Excuse me, shirtless Mario Brothers. Excuse me, Huntress with the impossibly oversized scimitar. I'm here on pilgrimage, it's fair to say. I've devoured 137 episodes of a podcast in the style of old-time radio. Each week I share in a few moments of riotous alchemy, laughter, daring playfulness, improbable generosity. And for me and a club full of my particular subspecies of nerd, number 138 will drop live in Park Slope. Gotham's unforgiving to we out-of-towners, we sleepers on cousins' couches, we novices in the cult of the G-Train. As if to mock me, my subway companion as I leave the hall carts a tuba, but still has a hand free for a game on his Samsung Galaxy. I finally locate the neighborhood shop where the writers and players are doing autographs before call, but I figure I must be early. I recognize the gang from blurry photos, indie movies, and of course, their voices. But they almost outnumber the fans beginning to line up. Fans holding merchandise, but also bottles or champagne flutes. Turns out, I'm right on time. I meet some other pilgrims, share convention stories with the actors heading there tomorrow for their panel. I talk Muppets and Fraggles with a producer who worked for Henson. And I get over myself long enough to pose with Sparks Nevada, Marshall on Mars. The show tonight will be thrilling and exuberant, of course but the trek is already worth it for this hour's gathering over Brooklyn loggers amid the discounted trade paperbacks. The perfect place for everyone involved to say thank you and mean it.